Hey guys, what's going on? It's Big Pasta TV here, and Blizzard has dropped the news on us once again. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, Sunwell PTR is live, and if this is historically anything like the PTRs we've seen so far, that means Sunwell is right around the corner. So I wanted to make a quick video just to help you get set up and ready to go if you haven't done any PTR yet, because Sunwell is the raid that we are going to all need it. So just to get started here, we're going to be right at the Battle Net Launcher, and we're going to go click on Public Test Realm Classic BCC. You're just going to go ahead and install it, download it, launch it, and just make sure that it's working before we get into too much else. Once you're at the character selection screen, you can go ahead and create a template character. The coolest thing about the PTR is you can just make a level 70 and gear it out with all the best stuff. It's a little bit more labor intensive than just manually copying the character that you have on live servers, which I'm going to show you how to do as well. But if you're in, you know, a sweatier guild, then they're probably going to want you to min-max as much as you can, get full bis on the best character you possibly can. If you're not on already, you can maximize racials, everything, but the gear isn't going to be that good. You're going to have to do some work on this guy. So if you just want to pump out a, cu a few quick copies of the characters that you already have raid ready on your individual servers. You just copy character down in the bottom there, and it's going to make you an individual copy of whatever tune you have with whatever items you have in the inventory. Uh, so bring your Destro pots, stack them up in your inventory before you copy your character or haste pots, you know, raid consumes whatever. Some of the stuff isn't actually readily available, and a good rule of thumb is try to just make as many of at least your main character on live servers as you have raid nights. My guild has three raid nights, so I'm going to go ahead and make three copies of my raid tune. That means no matter what, each raid night I will have one tune unsaved if we want to retry a boss or try something differently. Uh, it doesn't matter. Every raid night you have a save, and that's just an option that you have on PTR. So you should exhaust it. You should make at least one of every server tune for each of your raid nights, and... Ideally, you want to make one of each of the BIS uh, template characters as well. So now we're going to copy your add-ons and keybinds real quickly. We're going to go back to the Battle.net launcher and click on the cog wheel and go to Show and Explorer. It's going to open up all of the versions of WoW that you currently have linked to your Battle.net and your account. What we're looking for is the classic and the classic PTR files. So individually, you're just going to open up each window, have them next to each other by right-clicking on the files, open new window, so you have classic PTR and classic right next to each other identically. Then you're going to copy Control c interface in the classic window, click on the classic PTR window, Control v don't do it the other way around, I did it the other way around, I tried copying the PTR files to the classic folder, I had to cancel it, make sure you're copying the interface from classic to classic PTR. Then you're going to open the WTF folders on each uh, on each folder, delete the ones in classic PTR that say saved variables and config, then copy saved variables and config from your classic folder to your classic PTR folder. After you finish up there, you're going to open up account on both folders, copy saved variables from one and post it into the PTR, then you're going to open up the accounts in both. Then you're going to copy everything from the bottom up to save variables, delete it in the other folder, and replace it with the files from Classic. Next, you're going to go to your character list in the Classic PTR Realm 1. You're going to delete everything in that folder. Then you're going to open up your regular server with your characters and your add-ons, keybinds, everything. Copy and paste that right into Classic PTR Realm 1. After you do that, you're all set. You can exit out of that and just go ahead and launch up the Classic PTR. I recorded this a little bit out of sequence, so you're just going to see the one mage that I copied, but I'm going to go ahead and log in to the first mage that I copied. It's got the same name as my live server mage, so what that's going to do is it's going to set me up with all my keybinds, all my profiles. If you use LVUI or other UIs, you know, it should be the same thing. You just go to wherever your profiles are. Mine are in bartender, right? So I just go ahead and click it, and boom, 
there's all your keybinds, right? And even my weak aura is copied. I haven't really found anything that didn't copy except a few macros, but this will be more than enough to get you started. And, you know, if you lose any macros along the way, they're easy enough to copy and paste in a notepad and then just transfer on over. Now we're going to go back to the a template character that we created. I already uh, took the time to gear him out and everything and buy some extra stuff that I'm going to vendor to actually get an epic mount, which I'm going to show you in a second. But since we already copied all our profiles from our main tune, we can just go ahead and apply all those same profiles. So it'll give us our whole UI. Uh, as far as I know, you do still have to go to your spellbook and drag and drop all the spells and, you know, do all your own macros, uh, even if it is the same class. If there's a way to get around that, please comment it. I'm not aware of it, and that'd be super helpful. Uh, if you have custom nameplates, definitely turn those on. Shad is kind of a cluster on the PTR, and you're really going to want to be able to see all these vendors that are around the middle just to get your guy geared up. So then you're going to go through, get all your BIS gear, and the only other thing that you're going to want to make sure you do besides BIS, enchants, gems, all that, is get familiar with where the Paymaster is. You can get as much gold as you want, you can train any professions you want in the PTR, but you are capped at 5,000. So what you're going to want to do is get all your stuff, stock up on some extra capital that you can vendor, because since you're capped at 5,000, you're going to want to spend 5,000 on this template character on the Epic Mount, but then you're going to be sitting there with not enough money to purchase an Epic Mount. So... I stock up on gems. I'm sure there's better stuff you could. I just get a bunch of gems and make sure I can vendor them all right here. I buy an epic mount. You go right back to the paymaster and chat. You can get an additional 5,000 gold. And also, anything that you have in your inventory or bank on your live server character copy will transfer over to the PTR. So you're going to have all that gold. You're going to have all your consumes, all that stuff. Anything that you can't get in the PTR, you can craft on live servers and then copy the character afterwards and boom, it's on the PTR just like that. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video is helpful. Good luck in some well. If you haven't already, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, and check me out on twitch.tv forward slash TV. Thanks for watching.